Now we will be moving to the next topic in our study into finite volume, which we also will be introducing nonlinear differential equations. Okay. So what is a, uh, the, the first type of nonlinear differential equation we are going to introduce is the so-called nonlinear conservation laws. The nonlinear conservation laws are equations that we can write as this, partial u, partial t, plus a partial f of u, partial x, equal to 0. So that's a one spatial dimension form of nonlinear conservation laws. Uh, let's actually write it in more general form. This is a g. g can be an algebraic function of u, of x, of t, but it shouldn't depend on any derivatives of the solution. Okay, so u, a g is something that doesn't depend on the derivative of the solution. So the only differential term that are interesting is the time derivative and the derivative and the spatial derivative of a nonlinear function. So if I write a, a multi-dimensional version of the conservation of the nonlinear conservation law, and so, so let me write the most general form. Okay, the most general form is the derivative of a vector, right? Uh, that can be multiple numbers. It doesn't have to be even a vector that has the same dimension as the spatial dimension we'll be considering. Right? Okay. So partial uh, partial vector u partial t plus a divergence of a f. f in this case is a tensor, a function of u is equal to g. Okay, so this is the most general form of a nonlinear conservation law. So so here uh, the the u is a m dimensional vector. Okay, so here the the this inverted triangle is the let's say d dimensional divergence, and this f would be have to be what it has to be a tensor that is a d by m dimensional, right? tensor. So the d dimension is going to be dot producted with, the, it's going to be taking divergence with the, this uh, nabla. And then the result is going to be an uh, m-dimensional tensor, uh, m-dimensional vector. So the g is also going to be an m-dimensional vector. For example, if you are looking into fluid dynamics, it's an equation, the Euler equation is an equation like that. In, in the three-dimensional space, a three-dimensional Euler equation would have an m equal to 5. So we are going to be solving five equations, a mass conservation, three momentum conservation, and an energy conservation law. Uh, D would be three, because uh, the spatial dimension is three. Right. So the so equa Euler equation is a nonlinear conservation law. So but let's first uh, discuss the simpler form uh, first. The simpler form is just a, a special case of the general conservation law when m is equal to 1 and d is equal to 1. Right, we are, this is called a scalar conservation law because we are solving a scalar equation and also in one-dimensional one scalar conservation law. All right, so for example, the most, uh, the simplest uh, scalar conservation law is actually an equation we have already studied quite a lot. What if fu is equal to a constant big U times a, times a small u? Okay, so what equation is this? It's the linear advection equation, right? We already know the behavior. The behavior is the solution gets shifted without changing towards the left or towards the right, depending on the sign of u, right? And we'll generalize this behavior a little bit later, that the, the, the solution goes left or right, actually, depends on df du, where in this linear case, df du is going to be just a, a constant big U, right? That's why actually we are going to see that the solution for linear advection equation moves at the same speed 
at every point, which is why the shape of the solution maintains to be unchanged. Okay, so dfdu here is equal to u. All right, and then so this is the linear advection equation. Advection.